Yo, welcome back everybody. Today we have gameplay from Alakir of all heroes, a hero that's fallen completely out of fashion in this patch because it turns out that divine shielding and taunting and wind fearing a big minion in position one is really bad in a meta full of Leroy and Mantids. Just running it straight into a Mantid or God forbid they go first with Leroy and they just snipe that minion. Not very strong anymore, huh? But you know what it's really good for? Macaws. We know, Macaw plus Goldrin, Macaw plus Leapfrogger, whatever it might be. That Leapfrogger board gets real big real quick. And then in the late game, you have the ability to taunt up whatever you need to do on the board to give yourself those reliable procs. And this one ends with a bang. It's one of those weird final positions where we were pretty much hard countered. And we found a fun little pivot to keep ourselves in the game. All right, enjoy. I mean, are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? It's a lot of stats, like a lot of lot of stats if we don't play anything to the board. Do we just give him a parrot so that we can do max damage reduction or do we give him a leapers? and hope we facilitate more leapings happening. We could hold a blood gym just in case we get a brute. But we are Alec here and this is a macaw. This is just the, like a permanent minion. You will take the leapers and you will enjoy them and treat them well. Treat the leapers with respect. You can have one too. I'm sure he doesn't really want a leapers. Macaw's a lot easier to use for Rafam. Mm. Selfless is pretty good for the time being. I see, he says. Why buff Macaw? Don't you want it to die? You're, you're putting the cart way before the horse, dude. Like, the horse is still in the stable. You're running out on the fucking dirt track and just, like, dragging the cart along with you. Like, you're telling me you want to not play the Blood Gym on the Divine Shield minion that you have through the entire mid-game just because later on, maybe 5 health doesn't die when you have full Leapers count? I think I'm going to go with, uh, I'll pass on that one. Nice. Good hits. Go left. You did go left. So kind of you. Birds. Birds and taunts. Taunts and birds. I'm real tempted to keep a Houndmaster on the board. Just play three here. The alternative is you just buy Macaw and sit still. Taunting here is really nice though. Like as Alec here, we're not doing typical Frogger stuff right now. So we could taunt the Macaw, knowing that we could always lead it. It's one of those other scenarios, like, I think it's better to just continue to do this. It's not a ton of stats, but this thing's nice and big. Helps us out for a while. Boo. Boo. Meh. Good enough. 
it gets us there. Buy all, sell to one. Yeah, it's basically what we're doing. I like leveling there too, but the extra pair on the board's reasonable. All right, well, this is the easiest Baron in my life. Then life is just good. L-E-A-P-E-R-S. What do we want? Leapers. When do we want them? Right fucking now. All right. How does he do it? He's just so lucky today. Honestly, I just can't stand to watch it anymore. How does he get so fucking lucky? It's like he knows what he wants and he plays it and he just gets the 15 percenter so many times. <laughs> For real though, this is a really lucky day. Our RNG set to max today. We should just keep playing. OP. What star rank is the reborn giving snake? Oh, Rattler? It's a four star. Monday all-nighter. We go until rank one on both of these. Uh-oh, he's getting stomped. Doesn't matter. You can't kill it. Go, go, frogs. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, my God. There's so much leaping happening. <laughs> Look how big it is already. Oh, God. 15 damage. Why are you playing on an all? Because I just play on two accounts for lols. Because I like playing the game for fun and not for rating. If you can't tell, I don't care about getting the top rank. Alright, so we spend one turn on four, then go for fives. Hmm. We just want Golden Baron in the long term. None of these things really make that big of a difference. I guess just assuming that we can get overkilled is kind of kind of shitty here but uh it's about the best we can do try to play like this guess we just do it this way gross yeah you just gotta get lucky the macaw had too many death rattle targets the extra beast on the board as opposed to the hound master just opens up another thing that can have one leapfrogger on it and we just get fucked it's the last thing we want don't you do it. All right, good enough. We get the leapings here, so like... Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Nobody dead's pretty good for us. All right, we could just play this like we aren't Alec here. That's an option. There's also the alternative that we just play for zap protection early. It's not like we're strong, though. Gotta be careful about how much we're committing into here. We can taunt up Sewer Rat early. We're committed, yes. The question is just how much gold are you investing in things that are 
preventing counterplay versus making your board better. Because we are very susceptible to ghoul right now. And obviously zap in the long run is a big problem. Jim the Baron? Look, he has the same kind of stuff we do. It's a coin flip because it just depends on where the hits go. That's funny. We uh, won the first coin flip. Feels good, man. There you go. That'll do. The gods of the Leapers have blessed us this game. The Leapening is coming. The trees. It's the trees. They're trying to kill us. Frog sounds before the end. My ears are still bleeding from the last couple times. It's too much, man. Down go two. Hey, yes. No. That's Baron Pair. Golden Baron. Leapers is very strong. Maybe we get there. Maybe we don't. For the short term, we probably should just play anything that's a death rattle. We also could argue Sun Bacon. But I don't love it. it does not spark joy. One. I wish I had one more gold. I play six minions to have that. That. Oh, it's close, man. Like you could almost, almost just sell three, one, two, three, lead reborn macaw, and be strong here. But we're going to freeze anyway for the leapers. So if we're not stronger that way, then fuck it. I was here for the Golden Baron's leapers on the last two shenanigans. That was, uh, it was for science. I mean, it was because we had a test against us. It wasn't even a bad play in that scenario. Like if you realize that you're fighting a 32 health S who has a better version of leapers than you, you can't just play leapers into them you will die because they're just going to be way bigger. But instead we played toward Ghoul and blew up their Leapers comp. And since we had a bunch of bananas from our spells, they couldn't fix their comp and we had, we had their hard counter. It was great. It was wonderful even. Boo. You're supposed to hit left, bro. At least there's that hit. That was good. On the other hand, we hit the the hyena that or the high main that doesn't have any leap frogs on it. Oh my god. He's gifting us hits. Thankfully. Cause this start oh my god, this this high main took so many hits and it has no leap froggers on it. Alright, 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 alright. I can live with this. I can live with that for sure. Oh look, a dragon board is 40 health. I for one am shocked. One of those games I caught live and then also rewatched it on YouTube. It was an interesting one. Tunnel blaster. Blast them. Okay. Well, the first one's definitely going to Macaw because it's way too good as Golden Macaw. If we want to play toward Sun Bacon or Rat Pack, those are kind of debatable here. We really don't want to play this in the long run. We want this. We want this in gold more than anything. I think we just let it go. 
for the short term. Rolls are high value to us. And we can play some of these guys through. And then get these procs. Just sell a lion? Why would I sell a lion? Like, we're not a strong enough board right now without it. For gems and rat? Yeah, but the gems just aren't enough value. Like, the gems are two rolls to you. And you really want to give the sewer rat gems so that he just gets better access to Baron? I understand we have a problem with ghoul. Ghoul Baron is a problem pretty much no matter what we do. Leapers is very susceptible to it. Why not place Macaw on the left? Because the Macaw gets better value if we can concentrate the Leapfrogger buffs on things with Death Rattles already. So basically the idealistic version of this is that the Leapfroggers die and they start throwing out the Leapfrogger hits. No freeze? No, what was we, what were we freezing there? So like these guys start bouncing. Unfortunately, our sewer rat just dodges fucking leapfrogger hits. All right. Well, we're not getting good, very good hits here for our, our fun-filled leapfrogger comp. God damn it. All right. Well, we got 26 percented. Thankfully, we do clean up pretty nicely because he has a lot of low health things. Pretty nicely, he says, as he proceeds to not hit anything that has low health. 17 damage on 26% or with 11 average. Yeah. All right. Bottom fucking 1% roll. No big deal. And right, Macaw is definitely an upgrade on this board. Where my cards do? His rat sure as hell better not die if I saw the high main. We can't get out of the Baron. Macaw before Leaper, come on. Bro, how little faith do you have in me? I was sitting in the corner for a while. <laughs> you think I have my order set? Go sit in the corner. Think about your words. Yeah, that's a ghoul. He happens to have the ghoul card. Can't say I love to see it. But that was the fear. On the other hand, just your casual macaw runaway condition. No big deal. Teamwork macaws. Macaw before rat is better. In what scenario do you think I'm not playing the macaw before the rat, you dumb fucks? <laughs> I love this, this conversation. Y'all out there thinking that considering what we're buying in the tavern means we have our board set. They're best friends, look at them go. <laughs> hey. Macaw runaway condition, no big deal. Just dodge 74% lethal. Biggest Macaw I've ever seen in BGs? No, when the Macaw used to trigger on itself, hundreds of thousands of health was very possible. Back in the day. Interesting. Do we reborn Leapfrogger in this comp? We might. You don't typically. 
But we might lead Lee or lead Macaw now. We also could reborn sewer rat. Should have. I should have put it there for a while while I was considering what I was buying from the tavern just to freak people out. That would have been the play. Why are you leading Baron Bover? Because <laughs> we're considering what we're buying. I haven't set my order yet, bro. Should be better, on average. Unfortunate. <laughs> that's that's the lost condition right there. Unfortunately, we lost to Red Whelp sniping the the shit off the board. All right, never mind. We didn't lose shit. Never in question. Macaw got too big. Why not reborn the Leaper in this comp? Because typically it will be dropped in front of your other minions. Which means that you will have to attack with it instead of attacking with the Macaw. And the Macaws refill the taunts on the board. Typically it's worse. Typically it's worse. In this situation, I think the solo death rattle on this board is worth protecting. As well. If we get the Golden Baron, it changes a little bit. Buff with Mama? No. Don't want it to be higher health. I mean, we could, theoretically. If we think a higher health is better here, but I don't. Where the fuck's the third Baron? Indeed. That is the question. Where Baron Doe? Thoughts on Nomi Pivot? Um, suboptimal. Always worth considering. But in this scenario, a little below average. Dude, if we thought there's any risk of cleave at all, this is really bad. But we know what his board was, and then he died. I don't think that's cleave. I don't think we give a shit about this. This is all just like Golden Baron to win the lobby or bust. Uh, you are going to land on this, you piece of shit. <laughs> I swear, it's like 0 for 10. Thank you. This is why we have the macaws behind everything, because once we get all these leaps multiplicatively scaling, like, look how many crocs we're getting here. And then if this thing can just trigger this guy again, we just get more rats that get spawned on the board. And look how big these leapfrogs get. We really need to be able to keep increasing the number of beasts that are on the board, because every time something dies, it goes two times the number of death rattles on the board while Baron's still here. Hey, what's up, Sleepy? Top two? Top two, BB? Where is my Baron? Nothing on this board I want. Is it named Baron? No? Alright, it's a problem. You can taunt up the sewer rat. It's not that great to taunt up the sewer rat when we're Alec here. Go to tier 6 to increase the odds, Kappa. It's a common suggestion. That is without merit. 
Our game. Our game. All right, final round, right? We popped his block last time. All right, whatever. Whatever, whatever. We know he's cleavy. It's pretty much always Exodia, right? So. <laughs> I wonder how well our board does against Exodia. Yeah, it's Exodia always. Yeah, I'm aware. Huh. If we think it's always Exodia, the play is to sell this, right? Yeah. If it's always Exodia, you sell this. Yeah, it's definitely Exodia. No! No! <laughs> Look at the 50-50 if it's always Exodia. Get wrecked, you enormous pile of shit. You tried? Uh-uh-uh. It ain't over yet. We got our shit outside of range. We sniped the Baron! <laughs> oh. Keck. Wait. Keck, wait. We totally got this, right? Yeah, we got this. Yeah, selling the extra rat makes it so that the reborn spots are open on the board. Mm-hmm. 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 Baron finally dies here. But it doesn't matter. The macaw is big enough at this point. It finishes him. The bird murders him. <laughs> I'll take it. Firestone with the extra rat. It's it's 100% to die. You don't have to go to Firestone to look at that one. But we can go look at it. If you really, really want to. I just don't understand why people want to look at those kind of things. Because it's like, you wouldn't have any open board spots. You just wouldn't get your reborns. You would die. <laughs> All right, well, this is why I love the stream. So many smart moves. That was a fun one. Realized it right at the last second. I had to play down a minion. This prevents his ghoul from going off up front if he hits into it. 